Hello everyone. So I, uh, I promised to do a video on fashion, which I will do for you in a second. I'll just show you some other cool stuff first. What have I got? So this is my bag that I use anyway. This is a tactical bag. Loads of different things in it. It's got loads and loads of different pockets. But I've always got my British patches so people can understand the country that I'm from and the language I speak. This is Atlas drones. You can check them out online. They make some very, very special technology. This is the patch given from Starsky. See, it's the it's Ukraine military patch. These are two patches, right? Not just one. One that's for in civilian use. Uh, brightly coloured, right? So you wouldn't want to wear that in the battlefield. If you're going into combat, you wear that. It's darker. It. Uh, is less reflective um, and it helps with camouflage. Um, I got this. This is 14th Brigade. They took one of the trucks last time. This is the actual patch worn by one of the soldiers into combat. Um, so it's a very, very special patch to be given. Um, yeah, this sometimes we get given unit patches, but they've not actually been worn. That has. That has been used in action. Uh, again, actual warm combat patch. This is Sajit Combat Art Ukraine. Um, he's a professional soldier. He's been fighting since 2014. Uh, he was shot in both legs. Um, he's been rehabilitated. Uh, he fought in the Battle of Kiev in the early days of the war. He fought in the Battle of Piski and the Donbass, which was a horrible, horrible battle. Uh, and he's still out there on that uh, eastern front. That was his daughter. I got given the Lego, and you can see him in the video. Um, what else have I got? This is one of my favorites. This is my friend, Bichon. It's his cool sign. Uh, that's his dog, turned into a patch. Um, Bichon's the name of the dog. He's a super, super cool guy. Uh, like him a lot as a guy. Um, I've helped him out quite a bit. Um, this was given to me in a Patriots bar in Lviv. Um, it's a particularly friendly patch. You, know, it's, you see, you see these worn a lot by the UN, by the Red Cross. You know, it's a very much a humanitarian style patch. <laughs> um, this is the patch of the Presidential Brigade. They have a separate unit. My friend Ivan's in that fights on the front. But their primary duty is to keep President Zelensky, uh, or whoever the president is of Ukraine, Zelensky and his family safe. So, a fairly serious organisation and, and element of the uh, Ukraine armed forces. This is NAFO patch. This is what everyone's working towards. The Crimea Beach Party. You can see the NAFO fellow there wearing a particularly fetching summer outfit. Um, I think. Um, don't know that would be what I'm wearing, um, but uh, you never know. So we all look forward to that day. Um, these are the patches from Ukraine Matters. It's another campaign that we've recently done in the 69 Sniffing Brigade. We managed to raise about 32,000, which was enough to buy another couple of high quality pickup trucks for the units to be using um, across the front line. So that gives you some patches, and I've got more that I can show you at some point. Uh, that's that's Mikado's right there uh, that he gave to me, which is pretty damn cool. US military patch. I've got to look at clothes. <laughs> that is a t-shirt. Kiev designer, Jay Cook. Uh, I bought some extra ones for my friend, so I'm taking them back. That is the name of the shop. Uh, that's basically very near our apartment. Um, that's the price. So we got angry looking bird. You've seen things like this already. This is Duckside X Rikiti Tattoo. And you can, if you read this, you can see it says it's all about sort of the famous objects architecture, things that are important to the Kyiv region, if you can name them all basically, and then you Instagram them on uh, Duckside 
underscore. Can't actually read that through the camera lens. What's it say? Dark side underscore me. Uh, then you uh, get a bit of a special thing from them. Look at that bad boy. I mean, crikey. You certainly don't get them running around in the British countryside. Um, Alexander Dent. It's all handmade. This is the dress. Website. Can be washed. It's the Ukrainian tries up, hand painted. Another one. You see me wear this already. This is the uh, Ukrainian panda, endangered species. The Ukrainian people, they are, because of this war. This is another Jay Cook. It's Panic and Bear in uh, traditional Ukrainian wear. A couple of Ukrainian flag balloons. I think that's super cool. Here, and back to the dark side. It's Darth Vader. It's that Darth Vader hoodie you see me wearing on the show. It's a hoodie version of the uh, Dark Side X Takiti Katu. And this is similar, but it's not the same region. I really like these. These are super cool. Everything's actually designed in Ukraine and then manufactured there. See the price of that? Um, which for uh, sort of fashion designer item is not particularly crazy. If you can read that, uh, where am I? So, doing one for different regions, that's Lviv. This is Ukraine, um, sorry, Kyiv. Kyiv. Lviv. I really like this designer. This is another Ukrainian one. It's Control, CTRL. If you Google that, you will find it online. Um, again, bought from the same shop. They do slightly more simple stuff. So not as colorful as this stuff, but really well made, really nice stuff. Um, with slightly different sort of touches to it. So like if you look at this, it looks like a sweater. It's got like a little pleat in it in the back. I quite like the subtle design changes to normal t-shirts or jumpers that Control do. Duckside also does the t-shirts. I think you see me wearing this bad boy. It's pretty cool. You just don't get stuff like that <clears throat> in England normally. Uh, and well, so I've got one final thing. Ah, yes, yeah, so this is very special to me because this, on my first trip, was a present given to me by Victor Kinesh. Uh, I'm his great uncle and he bought me this to wear and I do I think it's very smart beautiful like sort of hand embroidered absolutely amazing very smart shirt quite good for summer it's quite light um, it's a bit like your, sort of your, your summer silk shirt but a little bit more detail to it um, and you can see other people in our other videos like Arta Retail and stuff like that who've got slightly different designed ones so hopefully that gives you a little bit more of an insight into Ukraine fashion uh, and I will buy some more so I can show it off to you take care